What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to... Well, we got a lot of work to do is what we got. This cornfield right next to us, we about to buy that. Three... Or field 30 rather. $191,000. We're going to buy it. However, we're not going to keep it. We are going to be flipping. That's right. We are going to be flipping that field. And hopefully... If we can get enough, see, there's another cornfield beside it, 31. Maybe I should have bought 31 instead. How big are the fields? Virtually identical, 111 to 191. What do they need? Let's see. One is not fertilized. Neither fertilized, neither need plowing, just one needs weed. So we picked the right one. Overall, we picked the right one. So let's back in here. Let's grab this. Bam got it actually you know what let's take a look at our lease here borrow so we've got 50 so 118 i still don't think that we're going to be able to get stuff unless we buy i don't think we can get both fields it's just not going to happen although now we have a maxed out loan here's what i'm doing sorry adhd has been everywhere this morning we are going to take this field and we are going to fully fertilize it and we are going to chaff it that's right we're gonna make some silage and we need to chaff this field but it has no fertilization whatsoever so we're gonna roll through we got to get that thing fertilized we've also got to get a forage harvester and i know exactly which one i'm getting and what we're going to be putting on it we're going to get the big x it's going to cost us 14 grand to get and we are going to throw on the big header for that that's right we're going to get the nine meter header for that which is going to cost us another $6,000 just to get. And also, we've got to wait for it, too. It'll probably help out a lot. How much was that wait? It's not too much, if I don't believe. No, there it is. Nice and easy. 1,800 kilogram weight. It's going to cost us $28 to lease. So, very easy, very good. I would love to do both these fields because I want to buy corn. Or I want to have corn, rather. Can't really buy it. I guess we could buy it, can't we? Chicken food? Nope, nope. Pick food. Can't even buy corn. So we've got to do figure out a way to get both of these fields. So we would need to get a corn header and everything unless we do it ourselves. And we would have to grow it. And again, we would have to lease equipment. We don't have a cultivator and we don't have a cedar. We have a planter. Or no, we don't have a planter. We have a cedar. God, why is it so confusing? Just We need a planter. We have a cedar. Ugh. <laughs> So we would probably roll in, pick up a uh, Tippo or the Coon right here. Either one works totally fine. Actually, the uh, Vaderstat um, works pretty well as well. So either way, we've got to do something. While this guy's doing his thing, we've got to come over here because we have soybeans to get out. Now, all this is going to be turned into pig food, at least the majority of it. We're not. Uh, this is not a sell for money kind of thing. This is a get so that we can have so we can use because you guys told me like yo dj you gotta do pig food the right way i've never done pig food the right way so that's what we're doing oh come on just turn just turn really i can turn this way can't even turn oh my goodness gracious you know what fine fine you know what i don't even need to deal with it i don't even need to deal with it i'm just gonna come and pick it up uh, that's the way this day has been. Started off the day, I uh, I ended up getting the the problem that you guys have been having, um, mostly console. I haven't heard of this happening on PC yet, though it did happen to me today. Was where this just did not work. I physically could not get in here and get this to work. So I had to contact Jim. And he was super, super gracious. Huge shout out to him. Um, because we are playing on PC, we were fortunate enough. Uh, he sent us a, uh, a little update file, said it should help us out big time. And he is the only reason that you guys are seeing a Mercury Farms video today. So huge shout out to Jim. Of course, links are in the description below. And of course, at the end of this video, if you guys hang out with us the whole time, I will have links for him there as well. So right now, again, what we're doing is uh, I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go sell that one field that we just bought. I'm going to buy the other one, go ahead and get it fertilized. And then one of them will be chaff and the other 
we will be harvesting for corn. We went ahead and picked up this little guy right here. We got a Stroutman, the smallest little pickup we've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you how I do this. So what I'm talking about this is windrowing. So we're going to turn that on. We're going to get a fast farming going. What we've got to do is we've got to roll through and pick up. Oh, of course, it's not picking it up naturally. Let's see if we can get it to go. Come on. Why did I go so far over? Oh, I was an idiot. There we go. We got it picked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit two headlands with this. Uh, what I'll probably do is go up and down both sides once or twice. And of course, the top and the bottom at least two times. And the reason I'm going to be doing this is because before I hire a worker, I want to make sure that I give them plenty of room to move around, plenty of room to do their thing. And we can't do that until we get our headlands done. And if you've ever tried doing wind rowing, first off, uh, if you've got an area like we do and you haven't done headlands, um, you know that they get to the end, they miss a lot. It's, it's very irritating, very frustrating. And you don't, you just don't want to have to deal with that. So we are not going to deal with that. And then I'm just going to bring this kind of down like this. So it makes sense. And then raise it up. And well, I guess we got to come down here and turn around, don't we? Yes, we do. So there's our first headland right there. I'm going to do the same thing around. Then we're going to go through and pick all that up. That's right. We're going to, ooh, little, little e-brake turn there. We're going to pick everything up that we just did. That way they have a squared off, very nice field to work with so the windrower can do their thing and they have no problems whatsoever. Another thing with windrowing that I see people doing is they're afraid to pick it up twice like this, like that right there. I say go for it because it's going to be much easier for you to do later on down the road. So again, this is how I do it. You can do it however you would like, but this is how I prefer to do it. We are now finishing up getting everything picked up, at least from our headlands we are. Again, the reason we do this is because if we don't come through and collect these headlands, especially with the way everything's laid out, we are going to be in mad, mad trouble when that windrower comes by because that windrower doesn't see a windrow. That windrower, as, as a worker rather, uh, the windrower sees stuff. It's like, oh, I need to put that in a line right now. And it's like, eh, you know, I'd, I'd just prefer you not go ahead and mess up the windrows that we've already done. And I learned that the hard way on Lone Oak when we were doing grass work there because we had to do a lot of grass work on Lone Oak. So there you go. There's that. And it's good. And all we got to do is drop that off there, pick up our windrow, and this will do the rest of the field for us and I'm sure it will do a magnificent job. So let's get this lined up. It's actually not gonna take too long. I think like five or six uh, passes. This is gonna be completely finished. Let's line it up by right here. Not really matter. And hire worker. And they're gonna run through all of this and make it look nice and neat for us and put everything in straight lines because we are very bad at that. So there you go. And it looks like everything's going good here as well. Let's see, are they moving? Uh, I think that worker's not moving. Up and up, there they are, I see them moving. We just caught them at the wrong time. Let's bump around and let's see who's doing what. Oh, that guy could probably use a little unloading. So we got our soybeans here, soybean field's going good. We've already unloaded once and we unloaded on the run too, which was nice. It's always good when you can unload on the run, save yourself some time. Rock and roll, baby, rock and roll, pick this up. There we go. So we have got the two fields and we are about ready over there. I think um, maybe finish this field on its own. I hope it can. Uh, we're gonna follow it down to the end of this row and then we are going to go ahead and get our chaff set up going. The reason we're gonna do that is because I wanna hit it on this next to last growth state. So when we hit the first growth state of the corn, We'll be good to go. Oh no, I stopped. <laughs> Once we hit that first growth state on the corn, we'll be good to go to go ahead and use our John Deere harvester here. Go over there, get that corn out. 
that should hook us up and be ready to do cows because we will have everything we need for cows and then we should be ready to go with feeding our pigs i think we have some pig food so i may feed them the rest of that but after this field we'll have everything we need to feed those guys here we go baby here we go We've got our big X580. We've got the header that maybe shouldn't be on it. Well, we got it on there anyway. Yes, we do. Let's get this thing blocked out. Nine meters. We're going to try and get this done as fast as possible. Should be fine. Should have enough power to do everything we wanted to do. And, of course, we got that weight on the back, too. Here we go. Line it up. Hire worker. And then we need to run back here and grab this guy. Let's jump in, get close-ish. Hopefully we don't hit any trees. Come on, pick us up, pick us up. There we go. It has recognized us, it knows where we are. Let's pull up to the side. And then now all we gotta do is just hang out and chaff this field. Yeah, let's go, baby. Getting all finished up now, just a little bit of a speedy there for you. Been kind of in and out, making sure where everybody's taken care of. Had to run over to field 3233 to the soybean field. Had to get those guys unloaded one time, just one time, but we did have to do it nonetheless. And I've had a few little issues here and there with this worker wanting to do their job. But once it became a female worker, for some reason, it decided to start working again and doing it exactly the right way. Blows my mind how that works. So this is it right here. This is the last little bit and we will be completely done. There it is. Let us go ahead and return the crone. Let's return that and let's return the weight because we don't need any of those anymore. We won't be using them. And as a matter of fact, this field right here, we can sell that field because we don't need that either. There we go. Get rid of that. So we pretty much got free chaff at the expense of the lease. I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it gladly. Goodness gracious. Let's roll through here. Shouldn't get stuck. Let's see. Let's go ahead and unload that. Yeah, that did not take long at all, did it? Actually, this is not a bad uh, it's not a bad vehicle to roll through here and, and compact that. As a matter of fact, let's stick that. I wonder. Just, just see it. Just curious how well this is compacting. Because if it's doing a good job, I may run over this a few times. Let's see, take a look here. And we are at 34% compacted, holy cow. Is that true? 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. <laughs> oh, this is doing a good job. This is doing a very good job. You know what? I'm just gonna roll over with this a few times. It's a semi truck, I've got a bunch of wheels. Yeah, man, let's do it. There's one pass coming over for two passes. Does it go faster the faster I go? It does go faster the faster I go. 56%. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe this is working. This is awesome. It's not a bad idea because usually when you get semi trucks in somewhere like this, you just get stuck. And that's the normal case there. But this. This is not getting stuck, and it's working very well, very well. All right, let's get this thing up to 100%. That was way too easy. <laughs> way, way, way too easy. Let's see, 100% blanket silo, yes please. There we go, let's double check this, make sure everything looks good on it. I believe it does look good. Oh, we missed a little bit there. That has nothing to do with us, that's just what it is. There you go. All is well with the world, and it is right. Uh, I forgot to check and see how much we had in there. 
I think I unloaded the trailer, was it three times plus a little bit, so not a whole lot more than like 120, 130,000 liters, something like that. Plenty to get a few cows, but not, not much more to be honest. So let's put, uh, let's see, let's set this here. Let's grab our, here we go, there's that. Let's grab this. And let's fold this up because our uh, the pickup for this is on lease as well. So if we don't get that up, we're going to be in serious, serious trouble. So let's take some time. Let's get the rest of this put up. And then we should be just about finished up with stage one today, which was getting everything done. Yeah, yeah. Almost done getting everything up from the hay field right here. It's been good. I'll tell you what, it's been good. We are done with harvest. This right here makes it official. And five, four, three, two, one. Boom, baby. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of hay. Now, we haven't got the second corn field up yet. However, it's not ready yet. Uh, so we are keeping a lookout on that, waiting for that to get all the way finished because it's in its next, or it's its last growth state, rather. The next to last state overall. I think what we're going to do is maybe fast forward a little bit of time, hopefully push that, kind of edge it in the right direction, if you will. So we've got this. This is done. I can return this knowing full well that we are finished with it. So there goes that. And our silage is good. It's only been a couple minutes now. We're already a couple percent in, which is very nice, actually. You know what? Let's go take a look at that real fast. How far in are we? Five percent. And it's only been a couple minutes. That's crazy. That's absolutely insane. Now, let's see. We've got another thing of wool in there. Things are good. I'll tell you what. Things are good. First things first, you know what? Why don't we take care of some water? Because I know these animals need their water. I think our water's over here. As it is, we may need to get some more. You guys know where we get it. We go down to the lake to get it. Let's see. These pigs overnight. Wow, I totally missed that, didn't we? These pigs overnight took so much water from me. It wasn't even funny. Take a look at this. Hold on. Let's go check it out. There they are. They're going to take some. I think we're going to have, yeah, we're going to have just enough to give the sheep their water. And then that is it. Here we go through here. Get the unload. There it is. They may take it all. They may not. We're about to find out regardless. What else does everyone need? So they need some grass and hay, and then our pigs need everything. Look what they've been going through, holy cow. They've been going through everything, my goodness. So they need straw, corn, wheat or barley, which I don't think we have either one right now. Uh, soybeans, canola, sunflowers, potatoes, sugar beets. Wow, 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 holy cow. All right, so we've got a little bit of water left. I'm just going to park this up here on the side of the building because we don't need that. Boom. So those guys need corn, and so we need to get corn. So let's figure it out and make it happen to where we can get corn. Looks like we are about to get our corn harvest on. Oh, yeah. So what we've done is we have leased the Capello corn harvest uh, corn header. And we have gone for the, I think, oh, unfold. I think we have gone for the nine meter version, I believe. Uh, so the, I think it comes with like a six meter version. Let's go to in here, take a look. So the John Deere, they come in a six meter and a nine meter. The nine meter really is for the S790. However, it works perfect with this. And the, the arm comes out, the auger comes out just enough to where you can fill it up and it's perfectly fine and everything rocks and rolls so you don't have to worry about you know trying to do small small strips and small links with this harvester because this is a very good harvester it just it takes a while to do stuff there's nothing wrong with that it is what it is uh i just don't like taking long to do stuff you could probably rock a 12 meter on the front of this thing if you really wanted to try it but i wouldn't I would just rock this because it looks like it fits on there. It looks like it's supposed to be on there and it works perfect. 
Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not even, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. Drop them down in the comment section below. Today's been a whole lot of fun. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. We'll see you later. Peace.